Hello everyone and uh, welcome. So I just want to show how um, Omniverse Kit can be used as a really nice uh, level construction tool. Um, what I've kind of done here is I've set up uh, three tools primarily, uh, but technically there's more because this is using Substance Painter, uh, but it works the same. So I've got Substance Designer, which is piping in my materials. Okay, this is creating all my textures. And primarily these three at the top are the big ones because I use a custom shader that ingests these three. And when I do my output, so if I go export outputs, right, uh, this is just exporting to my, my game ready folder. And it's only exporting those three. Okay, so I'm only exporting base color, normal and my RMA okay so I just want to clarify that okay so those are the only key three that come out of this and I have done that for all my different texture map okay so I've got this level and it's constructed from a couple different things and let me explain that as well really quick okay so this level is basically one piece except my animated bits so this is animated, and I'm going to turn it off RTX Path Trace just for now. It looks beautiful, but it's very slow. So I'm going to go to real time just to make this quicker and easier to talk about. So if I can get it to come up, there it is. As you can see, I've got some animations in here. Uh, they're not very good yet. They're just kind of demo ready, I guess you could say. But as you can see, these little things are popping up, and these should pop up also, and this moves, okay? So I've got a couple things that are animated, and uh, they, they work as they should, okay? So they are treated separately, and these are just separate individualized assets. You know, these plungers, and these are all separate. So I've got one asset that kind of, I just duplicate a bunch of times to make them, okay? So, so they're kind of like the add-in pieces, and that lets me make other new pieces quickly, and then I can add them to any level, so it doesn't become mired in, oh, it's in that model or in that model. You know, it's kind of, it becomes much more modular. Okay, so the next thing is our Maya. Okay, so in Maya, what I've got is live linking to, um, I have a live link between Maya and Omniverse Kit, okay? So whatever I do in Maya gets mimicked in Kit. So I'll just take this block over here and hit Control D and just slide it over there. So now I've got a duplicated object. So that's a new instantiation of an asset. And as you can see, it duplicated it and created it out here, okay? So this lets me really easily work fast and see the results quickly in a way that's actually quite nice and in the end can be useful for rendering or all sorts of different things. Um, so just a really nice way to work. And the way that the kit is kind of constructed is that you can just um, grab parts and duplicate and move and quickly kind of, you know, make more to a level. So now I can just go ahead and uh, work on my level a little bit. So maybe I'll take this block out and just check on Omniverse, make sure it's still live linking. Yep, it's still working good. So now I've gotten rid of that little block. And if I want to adjust materials, so let's say this goal area over here, I want to have, um, actually, we'll come back to that. I'll, I'll swap this out in, uh, and I'll show you how to actually completely swap a material um, because it's basically the same, but I can show you how it works through Substance Designer. But let's say we wanted to make this corner edge just not a corner. Oop, I don't know what happened there. Uh, let's say we wanted to make this corner edge not a corner anymore. Uh, all we would have to do is go right click, assign existing material, and change it to, I don't know, the parallel edge one, right? And again, in kit, it will update. So you combine just, you know, easily moving models around and the ability to easily swap materials and you've got kind of a really good winning combination um, for <coughs> a level editor. And what's really nice is that it all works in the tool that you want to work in. You know, I'm not sitting here toying with a tool that doesn't have all the tools that I want. You know, I'm working in Maya, which is exactly where I want to work. 
Move that back to the corner edge. And there we go. It's back. So let's do uh, one last thing where we want to change out even the textures here. Okay, so that's the last bit. Um, so, and this will kind of show the through, through method. Okay, so inside of Substance Designer, I'm just going to copy my material and I'm going to paste it. Okay, and now I've got wall plane and I'm just going to make sure I'm in that one, first of all. And I'm just going to make this like the green goal. Okay, so this is like the goal when you win, right? So I'm going to make it nice and bright green. At some point, I'll make sure that's NVIDIA green. But at this moment, I'm just going to do it quickly. And I'm going to save. And i got to rename this. So rename. And we're going to call this uh, Wall Alt Color Goal. OK. That should do. And Export Outputs. Export my outputs. So, as I was saying, only the base color, the normal, and the RMA go out. And now that it's done, I can go into Maya and jump into my Hypershade panel. Grab my templates and find my shader I created. So, PK RMA EM Simple. Select that. And I'm going to call this uh, M underscore floor goal. I don't know. That sounds good. Select my materials. So floor, alt, color, goal. First one is the RMA, I believe. Right? Yep. Yeah. First one is RMA. Open. Second one is the color. And the third one is the normal. There we go. Make sure that the color map is an sRGB. Close that. Select my faces that I want to make into a goal. And maybe we'll just do these over here just for now. Assign goal. There we go. And just to make it easy on myself, uh, rather than having to, it's actually easier to just duplicate than get to the face. So I'm just going to wipe these out. And I'm just going to duplicate. And duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. 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 Okay. So now, if all went well, Inside of kit, we now have a goal area and the materials are all updated correctly. And um, yeah, that's pretty, pretty darn cool if I have to say so myself. So, um, so yeah, really easy way to edit levels in kit. All right, thanks for watching.